Alright, so good morning everyone. Welcome back to Chippy's Couch. Today we return for a little more Thorium. And in today's episode, well, we've got a couple of boss fights to do. We have Queen Bee, we've got Skeletron, we've also maybe got a little bit of farming to do. You see, originally I planned to farm Viscount for a weapon that we missed yesterday. But given the fact that it took me six attempts and I like barely got by, I don't know if I want to start today with a little bit of failure. So maybe we'll do Queen Bee and then we'll go back to Viscount and see how it goes. Because maybe Queen Bee has something cool that it might offer us. I don't know, maybe <laughs> it could happen. All right, let's not doubt it. But I guess in a way, one thing I also want to get done today is I want to make an upgrade to my uh, Spectre Boots, which is like so minor in the grand scheme of modding. Like, oh, I need to upgrade my boots. Yeah, that doesn't sound as good as like, Oh, I need to take down Galactus, who's the Thorium's final boss, and he's made of gems. I cannot remember the name of the final bosses. Is it Ragnarok? Ragnarok sounds right. I'll, I'll look into it. Give me give me one moment. But first, before I forget, Spelunker Potion. Because while we're in the jungle, I need to get an anklet, and you get those in the jungle. That's right, I know Terraria. This whole series is all about me knowing Terraria. Did you know? I know Terraria. And I also know it's a great idea to hit the like button and subscribe if you're new. And even if you're not new, just check that you're still subscribed because I don't know. That's right. And I also really know English as well. And it's my first language and everything I say, uh, always accurate. Yeah. So I don't, I didn't mean to start today's episode with uh, spitting nothing but facts, but sometimes you've just got to do it that way. Uh, another reason why I don't want to jump straight into Viscount is because of the fact we need to get some more unholy shards. So, another Blood Moon. Right, let's have a little look at that final boss. <laughs> it's called the Primordials. What? I swear they were called Ragnarok. <laughs> I, <laughs> am I losing my mind? Was it, were they not called Ragnarok? Oh, something. Listen, listen. I know Terraria bosses, and let me tell you, it was definitely called Ragnarok. Um, let's have a little look then, because I don't actually remember. No, no, we do. We have a bee biome. It's right here. Um, so I guess what I also want to do is, and I'm sorry to just keep mooching about the world like this, I would really like to, to visit the demolitionist and potentially buy uh, some bombs and make some sticky bombs and, and do all that. Because I think what we're going to do, and this is something that I've been doing... Ooh. This is something I've been doing more and more in Terraria. Um... I don't know if I was doing this maybe before I, I took a break from Let's Plates. Uh, but one thing I tend to do now is I tend to make a fairly large arena um, pre-hard mode. So that when you go into hard mode and you've got to do uh, Plantera, it's not as much of a pain carving out an arena. This is just like a little rhythm I've been getting into. And I actually got the idea from uh, from Pedguin. Pedguin, uh, Terraria... Well, he's... I won't call him a Terraria YouTuber now, but Terraria um, associated uh, entertainer, um, all around great dude. Uh, did you watch this year's Jingle Jam? I hope you did. It was a wild one. If you missed this year's Jingle Jam, like you actually missed out. It was great. Um, it, it was it was pretty wild. We had um, a custom seed created by Red, and then um, we had the people from uh, Movember, the the charity organization. They came and gave everybody haircuts. I got a haircut. And I've still got the haircut right now because I'm like, how long do I leave it to grow out? I don't know. I had a good rhythm with my haircuts and I was getting them every, you know, set number of weeks, like eight weeks maybe. Now I'm like, what do I do? Because this, this isn't my normal haircut. Anyway, this is just, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going off on a bit of a tangent. Today's episode is going to be a bit of a quicker one, I would say. Um, I'm not going to be doing as many jump cuts. And the reason behind that is because... Today, Courtney is actually working out of uh, a temporary office. So, for anybody who doesn't know, uh, if you're not up to date with the channel's law, Courtney is my uh, my girlfriend. We've been together for eight years. <laughs> is it nine? It's a long time, anyway. We've been together forever, right? Just, 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 just. It's super simple. You get it, right? Anyway, uh, she has a job. She works in marketing, and in 2020, um, her offices went to working from home in february and i'm sure you can realize why right but then they decided no 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 we're gonna be a work from home company forever and she absolutely loves it but every once in a while uh her business they rent an office and they work in an office and I'm, 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 I'm explaining this so like so weirdly <laughs> like, uh, but she, yeah so anyway 
Um, that's the canonical law of the channel, um, which is actually the real law. When I say law, it makes it sound like I've just I've just wrote it down and made it up. I haven't. I have a girlfriend. Anyway, um, she's out today, and uh, and so I'm I'm looking after I'm looking after Atari. Now the thing is, we both work from home. So I would say Atari is a very uh, needy dog. Needy is probably a, it sounds like a horrible word, but I don't mean it like that. But he's used to us both being around him all day. Um, today he does not have that privilege. So I'm going to get my work done and me and him, we're going to chill out and it's going to be a great day. Um, I don't know. It, I'm not I'm not about tough love, you know. <laughs> if he starts howling, I'm, I'm off back downstairs <laughs> to, to go hang out with him. Um, right, so this arena is already looking pretty golden we don't need to make it too big because i have a theory um this is master mode but i have a theory that this fight will not be that hard i think it'll be fine also if you can hear my my watch ding and i apologize <laughs> i did not put it on mute before the episode and that's the way it rolls sometimes sometimes you just gotta say well, i don't want to take my hand off a keyboard i want to continue right we've run out of wood uh so i'm gonna have a little chat with the builder actually um because me running out of wood is becoming a very big situation in this Let's Play so far. Uh, I don't talk about... What is that? <laughs> Have you heard about the For Fury Forge guy? I thought Molly knows. Oh my gosh. Fury Forge right now. He's screaming. Oh, he didn't. He's taking, taking credit for all of his work. Anyway, um, what I've been doing is just planting trees all the time. And we don't have that Axe of Regrowth, which is such a sick item. Gosh, 1.4.4. Am I right? Um... So we've got, to, we've got to buy wood instead and, and planting trees. Oh, what a pain. All right, Mr. Beast, look away. I'm sorry. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to... I'm going to mine it because I've run out of bombs. <laughs> I, I just thought, you know what? I, I need an easy access. I can't keep uh, scooting around this house every single time I want to come down here. But yeah, other than that, um, I'm going to have a fairly relaxed day today. I don't have too much going on. Um, the thing is, I'm in prep work for, for chippy gaming videos at the moment. That's how I'd best describe it, which is where I'm still ironing out concepts. There's another Queen Bee biome there. That's good. Uh, where I'm still ironing out concepts for bigger videos I want to make um, and researching them and stuff like that. So I'm not actually working, working. I'm just more like thinking about work, which is always, always quite funny, to be honest. What is this? It's a hag. Get the hag. Oh my gosh. Please get the hag. <laughs> Tag's got a lot of health. <laughs> Okay, let's, let's... Oh, now she teleports, eh? What's that about? Now, it's my only beef with Bard. It really does take too long to regen. Look at this. This hag could have been on the other side of the world by now. We're going to vanquish a medal for that. Awesome. And some jungle sports. Okay, right. Right, so we have an arena. Well, it's something. It's... <laughs> listen, it's better than nothing. Let's be real here. Um... I'm fairly confident in myself, and this this might be too much. All right, this might just be like yesterday, where I was cutting back too early. Um, I'm fairly confident that I've gotten a little bit better at the Queen Bee. I believe that. Is it actually true? Mm, it's debatable. Here's the thing. I don't have a, a Bezel or a Basil or a Bezos, and I'll never remember the name. I'm sorry. Oh, but, uh, you know what? I'm a, real, I'm a real disappointment with pronunciations. And I've just got to embrace it at this point in life. You know, it can't be argued at this point that I'm good at pronunciations. It'll never happen. Um, anyway, so, um, where was I getting at? Um, oh, I can't remember. <laughs> I cannot remember. Um, yeah, I don't, oh, that's it. I don't have a, a Bezor, Bezor, uh, Jeff Bezos. Um, so I'm, I'm not uh, immune to poison damage, which is not actually ideal because essentially what's going to happen is slowly over time, I'm going to be blasted. <laughs> And, and poisoned to death, which is um, not the best way to go. Uh, I'm not. I'm not keen on it. You're not keen on it. Nobody is. But I'll do what I did yesterday uh, with Viscount, where I swap between different weapons. The thing is, though, this fight is very quick. <laughs> and I'm noticing that now that we're going to have to be a little bit better with our aim. And it's it's interesting, or like the challenge for me is, I'm kind of used to projectile speed for a lot of the vanilla weapons in Terraria. You know, I can kind of use them without really thinking about it too much. Um, but when it comes to these new weapons, and they have different projectile speeds I'm used to, when I'm swapping between, like, this one and the other one, for example, I'm having to, to think a little harder on, okay, how fast does that projectile go? How far does it go? And I haven't got the second nature of it all yet. So it's going to be interesting to see how that goes. Also, uh, one thing I am quite liking, uh, the teeny tiny peas are giving inspirational regen. 
I like that. But like, as you can see right here, not doing too well with this. And I'm not doing too well with this one either. This one could be good if we got into like a really good spot with it. But will we? I don't know. The, the hot horn though is a great weapon, mostly for, what is this? Get out of here. Go you distract to me in this fight. The hot horn is good though for, for setting the, the queen bee on fire. Which I do think will work out in the long run. Uh, but we just have to remember to use the you would loot as well. Because it does give us better life regen. And I'm hoping that kind of uh, that kind of stacks up. But gosh, this fight. <laughs> or the inspirational regen. I think honestly, if I keep it pretty chill, I think I'm going to be alright in this fight. Um, it's all the random extra enemies though. Now I thought, and I once again, I don't know if this is a 1.4.4 thing, but I thought the bosses were meant to cancel out the spawn limit so you don't get too many enemies spawning in. Now I know they did that for a boss in 1.4.4, and I can't remember which one it was. Um, it might have actually been the Empress of Light. <laughs> you know, it, it, and that's on the same level as Queen Bee for me. Queen Bee has always been a fight that I've, I've struggled with. I think we all know this at this point. Um, gosh, the bongos are great as well. Really like the bongos. The bongos are good because it's allowing us to kind of take out the extra enemies around us. So maybe the bongos were always the way. Donkey Kong has always known this. And I swear by uh, Donkey Kong and, and, and all that comes with it. Did, did, did you all see? <laughs> there was a great little saga on YouTube during December. Donkey Kong December. With, uh, with Video Game Donkey. The connoisseur of Donkey Kong games. And those videos were fantastic. Now, I've, I've never played a Donkey Kong game outside of a couple of minutes of Donkey Kong Country and a whole lot of the Donkey Kong Bonga game on the GameCube, which I can't remember the name of. Um, Donkey Konga, which I think it is, was so good. And I loved it. And there's a bit of a story here. Um, so, my Donkey Kongas uh, broke. Sadly, rest in peace. But don't worry about it, I own two other sets of Donkey Kongas. I don't know how I own so many sets of Donkey Kongas, that's the way it's gone. Anyway, the bongos. Um, Donkey Kong bongos. So anyway, mine broke. Um, and listen, I, I don't know any video game repair stores or anything like that. So any I took them to the skip. <laughs> to, to be recycled in, in the proper area, blah blah blah, right? Anyway, the guy working at the skip was like, Bro, these are Donkey Kong bongos. I was like, yeah man. And he was like, can I have them? And I was like, they're broken. And he was like, yeah. <laughs> it's like, still. He's like, I'll put them on a shelf. I was like, please, take them. So yeah, that's what happened to my Donkey Kong bongos. Anyway, that's the story. And that's the Queen Bee. What a glorious fight, some would say. Um, some would. You know, don't be mean. Don't be mean, everyone. Um, that was good. I actually really enjoyed that. That was a good little fight. We got a, we got a heart from that. The honey heart for the healer class. We got some beeswax. We got a Queen Bee relic. We got the honeyed goggles. I never get this item. This is rare, right? Or somewhat rare. But I, I never seem to get it. Um, but we, we swear by massive crab. Um, so yeah, great fight. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Good stuff today. Uh, this isn't the end of the episode. Because I am now going to go on a little bit of a look for the anklet. So we'll do some jump cuts maybe. But I'm going to look around because I've still got uh, two Spelunker potions left. Ooh, a fiberglass fishing pole. This could be good. I don't know if Thorium necessarily wants me to be to be fishing at any point, but if it does, uh, we have that. So that's a, a good fishing pole. It is. Um, but still, though, no anklet. So, <laughs> so a bit of a mission failed. And how long do we have left? Seven, seven seconds. Unless we find a chest in the next seven seconds. Um, two, one. All right. That's the end of the mission, boys. It's done. <laughs> it's done. Okay, cool. So we got a bunch of random stuff. Um, it's not not a bad thing. Um, let me put down the relic. So we'll put the, the queen one here in between you two. Please look at my accomplishments. Look at what I've done to save the world of Terraria. That bee is no more. So I will sell this. I will sell that. Um, I'm going to sell this even though I don't get it very often. Uh, we have a band of regen. We don't need the hive one. Don't need that. Do we need this? Uh, they don't make out. Oh, okay. Uh, sell. <laughs> don't need it. Um, let's have a little look at the beeswax then. 
Yeah, I did think it would make a bard weapon. So you can use honey block and beeswax to make the honey recorder. Releases a harmless but sickingly sweet toot a sound that covers an enemy in honey. Right click to summon bees that damage and seek out the nearest enemy covered in honey. There's also waxy resin. Rosin? <laughs> Piercing string instruments attacks will lose 15% of damage per hit. Piercing string attacks uh, will increase in speed every hit. There's also a melee weapon and something for the for the healer class. That's that's pretty neat. Um, the recorder then. I reckon I've got some honey block. I don't think I left it in the... I could have easy done, to be fair. Let's put the rest of this in, though. Um, okay, so recorder. I think I did. Um, yeah, I did leave the honey block behind. I'm gonna go grab some because I, I like to see uh, I like to see the new weapons. So here it is, the honey recorder. Uh, it's got it's got bad reforge on it. Bit of a shame. It's always sad when that happens in Terraria. Well, I guess the good thing is my man here will reforge it for the price of twenty four silver. The vibrant. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Okay, now I'm gonna be real. It doesn't look super fun, but we haven't covered anything in honey yet. Oh wow, the bee shooter thing is sick. I really like that aspect of it. It might have actually... <laughs> I feel like it's almost better as an actual bee shooter. That is really cool. I actually genuinely really like that. Um, so one of the things I did want to get done is... Because I said this yesterday. I want to do Skeletron. I want to get Skeletron out of the way. And, and I, I said I could probably do it in a one today. And I still think that that is true. Because as we've all heard from the recording, Atari is quite content downstairs. Uh, I have cameras set up. <laughs> so I'm monitoring him. And he's fine. He's good. Um, is it? <laughs> is it? No, like my dog is over one years old. Do I sound like? Do I sound like a lunatic? You've got to let me know here. But he really is like a little child to me. <laughs> I just, yeah, I feel like I feel like such a dad. <laughs> I'm like just checking up on him. He's fine. He's just relaxing. He's he's fine. Um, okay. So what we'll do then is we'll go and get some potions. Regen. Iron skin. Uh. Heart reach, you know, any of them, any of the good ones, you know, the main four, the rest we don't really look at. Look how many, look how many there are. Okay, swiftness, regen, iron skin. Oh, for the mobile viewers, um, shine, a little bit of night owl. We're running low on moolah, but we know why that is. Let's be real here. It's because I don't deposit it and we just don't even grab all the things from chests you saw my performance in the jungle i can't deny it you know the evidence is out there um so yeah let's do skeletron so skeletron's going to be a fairly relaxed fight because of the fact we have the uh cloud and a balloon skeletron is just by now one of those fights where i don't struggle unless i absolutely get uh, Sideswiped by an enemy that knocks me into the skull. Um, Skeletron is—it's just—it's just my jam now. I kind of, <laughs> as mad as it is, I made it a bit of a mission. Once I knew Chippy's couch was being added to the game, I thought I can—I can never fail to Skeletron ever again. I cannot let myself down like this. So I did. I made it a real mission. Where's the old man? Oh, he doesn't appear on the mini map. Okay, curious. Um, yeah, I, I made it a mission. I thought I can never die to Skeletron ever again. And if I die, it has to be due to an enemy. Because, you know, when they add your own item to the game, you have to, um, you have to respect it. And you have to, to hone your skills and train up. Like, for example, I would say 99% of the time, I'm good at daytime Emperor's Alight. Now, we're going to put that to the test in this series. We're going to see if my skills have remained. So, this could be really awkward later on. Um, but it's because, obviously, they added the rainbow cursor for me. So I'm like, well, now I have to get really good at daytime Emperor's Light. But I, I, no, the rainbow cursor doesn't drop... Well, it can drop during the daytime, but it's not mutually exclu exclusive. So I know English, as I said at the start of the episode. <laughs> oh, gosh, what is this? What is this? <laughs> why, do I, why do I fumble so much? I don't know. I don't know. It's because I'm, I'm, I'm trying to use uh, big words. Like the word mutual, mutually exclusive, which is not a big word at all. Um, so yeah, but the thing is, right, with Chippy's couch, the thing that always devastates me is the fact that um, I'm so rubbish at getting it. Like, I'm not very lucky with getting it. I feel like you lot get the couch more often than me. 
I get so people once again. People reach out. They're like, "Oh, do you know what I got first time? Chippy's couch." Well, I wish I could have got Chippy's couch first time. Never happens, right? First things first. Let's get rid of these water candles because I do not want them messing up my fight. It's also nighttime now. So one thing we're going to have to keep in mind is that it is a graveyard. Now, I don't know if breaking the tombstones, although it will spawn a lot of ghosts, I don't know if that's going to mess with the mini biome and if that's even relevant. Like, will that even matter? Genuinely don't know. But I think because it is a graveyard, we are going to get more enemies naturally. I think that's the way it works. Uh, it works. I think, I think the way it works is during a daytime, you can get nighttime enemies. Is that right? I haven't actually messed around with graveyards too often. I just don't die enough. I'm just I'm just that good, which is a joke. I'm terrible. <laughs> okay, so buff up. Let's go speak to the old man. Uh, I apologize, by the way, because I haven't been doing the... I said I was going to farm Viscount, but yeah, like I say, I kind of want to give it a little bit of a break for a little bit, only because it was such a, a rough fight yesterday. Um, so let's see how this works then in terms of damage. Not that good. I feel like a piercing weapon like this is going to do much better. Now, in terms of damage, I would say we are not that good. Like, I would not say that this is a big win for anybody. If you just... Oh, okay. It, it was just delayed. It's like, have you really just lost your arm that quick into the fight? <laughs> that's, that's a pretty rare occurrence. I appreciate the small hand, by the way, always guiding me towards the enemy. I, I did not know where Skeletron was, and now I know. Can you set Skeletron on fire? Oh, you can. Oh, now that's interesting. I didn't know that. They don't use a lot of flaming weapons at this point in the game. I guess you could do, though. You could always use flaming arrows for this fight. And I probably have done. <laughs> but I'm always learning stuff in Terraria. Or relearning it and forgetting it. Or looking at it with fresh eyes. Because here's the thing, right? And I believe this with a lot of things in life. Um, once you get good at stuff, you can start to reevaluate it for a fresh set of eyes. Like, the first time I fought Skeletron, I was terrified. I did not know what to do with myself. You know, it, it was scary. He was he was large and imposing, and like, how do you deal with a, a bony man like this? But once you, once you start to look past the cracks and the calcium, you, know, you can start looking at the finer details. And you can start thinking like, oh, okay, so he always moves in this kind of rhythm. Or he always spins around this moment of time. And you just start to learn it. But the first time you ever play, oh, it's... It's intimidating. I wish sometimes I could forget Terraria and relearn it, but then it, but then also in a way I kind of don't, because I think I enjoy Terraria more the more I know. Because right now, when it comes to Master Mode, I can pretty much steamroll the game if I was to choose to, not to the level of a speedrunner, because I don't know how to speedrun uh, anything. Um, but, but I enjoy that satisfaction of being like, okay. I know enough about the game to play it, and I feel relaxed because nothing is too big of a challenge. But then I do like to balance it out with mods, really challenge myself, and um, and yeah, so there's the good and the bad, right? I don't know if that was the end to that point, but that's the way I'm ending it. Terraria is, is I've gone brain dead, never mind. <laughs> don't even worry about it. Okay, so we're down to the final part of the fight now. Uh, we're sticking with the hot horn because I quite like... Uh, the way it looks. <laughs> so we're doing 120 DPS when we're landing good hits. This is a good sign. Now the question is, because I've already um, prophesized it, will we get the Chippy's couch or will we not? My gut feeling is always no, but I would love it. I think, now I may be wrong on this. This is something that Caleb would have um, inscribed into the Tombs of Time for Chippy's couch alongside every death, maybe. How many times have we had Chippy's Couch on Chippy's Couch? If I had to make, write down an estimate, I think it's once. I l literally think it's one time. We are so weak, um, it's actually shocking. <laughs> um, like, I'm actually questioning, are we even going to beat it within the span of four minutes? And when you think of that, that is pretty nutty. Like, this skull part should have been over hours ago. I gotta wait for all my inspiration to regen. And I know sometimes I don't let it regen fully, and I apologize for that, because everybody's upset. <laughs> everybody's like, come on, stop. Um, but gosh, this is bad. <laughs> See, I do really like the Bard class. 
I do, I genuinely really like it, but I do feel like it's weirdly balanced. But then again, I've not focused on... No, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that back. I was gonna say, I've not exactly focused on reforges and, and getting the best accessories, but I know full well, if I was using any other class right now, this fight would have been over two minutes ago. At least. So I don't know if maybe... But it's weird though, because Bard is... You get so many weapons. But I don't know if it's it's underleveled a teeny bit. But then again, you don't want it too powerful. It's such a hard balance. I would never opt to balance a mod. And I would never opt to balance a Terraria. My gosh. I've always, and I've said this multiple times, I'm always of the mindset of, if Relogic nerf an item, I do not care. Because <laughs> I know I have no authority to say otherwise. There we go, it's done. We did not get the Chippy's couch. It's a sad day. It's a sad day, but listen, we got a thumbs up. It's 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 a small compromise. So I think we'll we'll wrap it up there for today because we know that there are things that you can get for the Bard class in the dungeon. I can't remember how we know. We looked at something though, but it looked good. Uh, so that's it. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode with a lot of fun. Um, I like a good boss themed episode. And I like putting my passion to the limits with boss skill. Yeah, that's right. Uh, English is so important. Oh, yeah. Chicken run too.